very good evening everyone we are going to start the next part of our chapter called useful microorganism okay so we have already gone through about microorganism okay so few of the microorganism they are beneficial as well as they are harmful beta so we have already discussed about harmful microorganism okay so today we are going to start about the useful microorganism okay so the organism benefits us in number of ways beta there are many different ways okay harmful and sorry uh, useful microorganisms are being uh, like used for the human welfare beta in order to like development of human being in medical and many other uh, you know practices like agriculture and all microorganisms are being used okay so their uses can be divided into four categories okay what are these four categories first commercial level in medicine in agriculture and in environmental means to protect environment also okay so there are many microorganisms which can be used in commercial level for medicinal purpose in agricultural field as well as to environmental management we can use microorganism okay everyone let us discuss each of these one by one so first we going to discuss about commercial uses okay everyone say your voice do is breaking say your voice is breaking sir is breaking yes sir okay still breaking no sir not no okay it is fine sir okay 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 so some of the commercial use of microorganisms are given below number 1 making curd and cheese at the industrial level beta okay microorganisms like lactobacillus bacteria are used okay so do you know how curd is made at home so let me make you understand see we know milk right and you must be drinking milk right so milk is little sweet in taste beta right sweet right so in milk we have a kind of sugar called lactose sugar lactose yes uh, yes lactose sugar we have in a milk okay and in milk a specialized bacteria called lactobacillus bacteria is present lacto bacilli bacteria are present and these lactobacillus bacteria have capacity to convert the lactose sugar into lactic acid okay. lactic yes acid yes. so when lactic acid is found in a milk the milk start coagulating okay and it becomes dense and then or that dense texture of the milk converts into the curd okay and it is acidic right so it must be sour to taste right right everyone yes sir yes so this is the way how yes, Okay, now at home, how milk is formed? So first we are heating the milk, beta. Okay, so I am writing here the process. Okay, so we have normal milk. Just heat the milk. Heat. Heating milk, okay, is called as pasteurization. So what it is called, sir? Pasteurization. Okay. Yes, sir. Pasteurization is a process in which milk is heated at a high temperature. It used to kill the harmful microorganism. To kill harmful microorganism. Okay, sir. Hmm. Oh, harmful microbes. Antibiotic. किसका वैक्सीन है ओके एवरीवन ओके सर ओके टू किल द हार्मफुल माइक्रो ओके 
so due to which uh, microbes get killed beta okay by pasteurized that's why this process is important okay okay sir sure. then a uh, milk then uh, no so it is a pasteurized milk now i am writing a pasteurized milk okay now that pasteurized milk is cooled up to lukewarm lukewarm okay okay yes, sir okay then curd is added here lukewarm milk so you am writing a cooling okay then here curd is added here beta curd so the small quantity of curd contain lactobacilli bacteria okay sir okay so that lactobacilli bacteria increases its population and converts sugar means lacto sugar into lactic acid okay and due to presence of lactic acid milk turns into curd then okay this is the process usually a spoonful of curd see here we are adding spoonful of curd is added to the warm milk lukewarm or not very hot which turns into the curd over a night this happens because the protein called casein present in milk which coagulate to form the curd that's why uh, the texture of the curd is dense right for the casein to coagulate the milk has to made acidic beta because acid is formed so it becomes acidic the bacterium called lactobacillus present in the spoonful of the curd added to the milk convert the lactose sugar present in the milk to lactic acid okay and this creates the acidic environment needed for the casein coagulation okay the process of conversion of sugar into acid okay uh, and alcohol by the action of microorganism is called as fermentation Understood what is fermentation is the conversion of sugar yes, into the acid or maybe alcohol by the action of microorganism is called as fermentation. Okay, so, fermentation. Fermentation is a process in which sugar, okay, is converted into either acid or alcohol by the action of microorganism is called as fermentation. Okay, sir. Okay. Any more doubt here? No sir. No sir. Okay, so I want to just take a screenshot. Whatever the proofs that I have given you, very important. Sir, in pasteurization, the milk is heated at very high temperature. Sir, you are on mute. Yes, but I repeat it once. On pasteurization, the milk is heated at a very high temperature. Yes, in order to kill the microbes, beta harmful microbes. Okay, sir. Yes, it's called as pasteurization. Can you see me, everyone? Yes, sir. So I am Hemant Sir, your science faculty. Have you seen me before? No, sir. No, sir. So never on. <laughs> oh, actually, what uh, happens now? 
when i used to uh, start my video sometime uh, due to using more internet here okay uh, voice used to lag and uh, you know sometimes were complaining sir your voice is lagging and all that's why i used to switch my camera okay yes sir okay sir Okay. So any doubt, better now? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. And you know, uh, one day what happened when I was traveling? Okay. The production of cheese and paneer. Okay. The cottage cheese. Uh, see different types of cheese we have in the market. We have like mozzarella. We have cottage. Okay. So they are different types of cheese on the basis of the type. a uh, time that is required for the ripening process okay uh, also involved in the use of bacteria so there also we are using bacteria like lactobacillus that we discussed already and the streptococcus these two species of bacteria are being used okay for producing different milk product beta curd and cheese manufacturers also add substance called rennet see rennet is actually an enzyme which is obtained from the stomach of young cattle okay but now rennet is being substituted by other okay and uh, like vegetarian cheese is formed with the help of that okay usually uh, sorry uh, the milk to make the process faster so that enzyme makes the process faster that's why uh, sometimes we are using So the enzyme called rennet to increase the action of fermentation addition of rennet result in the formation of lactic acid which makes the milk more acidic beta more acidic okay uh, sir how will the cheese form uh, cheese is formed see first milk is uh, coagulated then protein is been separated from there then it is washed and then it is being like uh, packed in a cloth in order to make it little hard and then it is being uh, cut into the pieces and uh, yeast powder is used there beta yeast the uh, fungus it is also used there okay and it is like left for like certain period so that again becomes hard okay like different type of cheese we have like cheddar cottage mozzarella these are the different type of cheese which are like suppose if it is uh place for 6 months so it becomes more hard if it is placed for 12 months to 18 months so it becomes more hard okay so this more time if you will place it becomes more hard and expensive okay okay everyone okay sir yes sir harshit you are not replying beta yes sir okay so making alcoholic beverages Sir, uh, what happens huh? after fermentation? Means uh, in the fermentation, actually, uh, it may become milk or become... milk. See, uh, see, in fermentation, sugar, sugar, or you can say carbohydrate. Okay, is break down into either alcohol. Or acid. Sir, can you scroll up on sir? हाँ बेटा. Can you scroll up on the screen? What did you say? I take a screenshot from one. Screenshot? <laughs> Your voice is not audible, बेटा. Clearly to me. Yes, sir. Just telling. Sir, I'll take. Sir, I'll take a screen. Sir, I'll take a screenshot. So for that portion. For cheese, sir. The. Making okay, 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 okay. That notes is already there, beta, in your WhatsApp group, right? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Hmm. Okay, now we have to discuss about how alcohol, like beverages, are being formed. Okay. So the production of alcoholic beverages such as beer, wine, involve the fermentation of sugar. present in a barley or grapes or maybe different types of fruits maybe sugar cane also is used for the production of alcohol 
by the microscopic fungus so here fungus is used here see if you are performing fermentation by fungus alcohol is formed if it is in performed by bacteria acid is formed okay so fermentation by is produces the alcohol and carbon dioxide okay everyone now i'll show you how it is been formed see uh, first what happened of uh, like uh, i'm taking grapes okay and uh, uh, sometime rice also okay it is being uh, taken inside the container beta in that container water is added up to here okay and it is being like covered uh, it packed air tight and it is left for few days for fermentation so here fungus which is being added here the yeast which grows and uh, digest all the sugar present there and convert it into the alcohol okay and it takes place in absence of oxygen beta so it is also called as anaerobic respiration or fermentation okay and that alcohol is formed here is been distilled out so by distillation process alcohol is been separated from the fermented biomass okay now let discuss about the how bread is made in bakeries you know bread yes sir yes that we are making sandwiches and all okay how it is being formed so suppose here we have one big tray okay here wheat flour is taken wheat flour here some like sugar little milk is added here and water and it is been converted into the dough okay it is converted into dough and that dough is kept for overnight okay so is present there we had uh, added is powder also beta dry is powder dry is powder is added there okay so that is present there which gets moisture proper temperature and nutrient in surrounding and starts multiplying there okay due to uh, multiple like multiplying or reproduction process it required more energy and that uses that energy by converting carbohydrate into alcohol or carbon dioxide also along with alcohol carbon dioxide is also formed right and that carbon dioxide and during baking beta when we are baking that dough here carbon dioxide is present which is released from here and whenever it get released from here the small small holes are formed and due to formation of many numerous holes it converts into the bread okay spongy okay everyone yes okay the process of making bread involves kneading a mixture of flour wheat flour salt some salt sugar yeast cell and water and sometimes milk also and convert into the dough yeast convert sugar to the alcohol and carbon dioxide is rises as more and more carbon dioxide is produced the dough rises in volume its volume increases beta and that makes the bread porous and spongy making an expanded dough at 80 180 degrees celsius temperature is required and it kills the yeast and stop the fermentation okay and it converts into the bread and we can eat that the alcohol evaporates during the baking process so alcohol which is produced here is evaporated during the baking process and it becomes safe for eating okay everyone okay. yes sir form of powder yes beta of mix the yeast cells will be alloy water ah uh, uh, in means yeast yeast cells are uh, found in the powder means generally it's granules powder the dry yeast powder is available in the market you can use That, 
If they get proper moisture, temperature, and nutrient around them, they start uh, like become live eagles. Okay, like you can say this dry is powder or nothing, but the seeds you can the seeds for the seeds, okay, or spores. Okay, so yes. they serve like the seed. Yeah. Got your uh, query, Sri Ram? Just join the class. Very late. Okay, now any doubt, be done. Oops. Oh. So I want. Uh, if you want to take, you can take a screenshot. So one second, sir. Yes. So it is saying Hemant Kumar Yadi has started screen sharing, sir, but I am unable to see. Okay, okay. Wait, I am literally sharing the screen. And now? Yes, sir. Now I am getting. Done, everyone. So, yes, sir. Okay. 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 Huh? Sir, Sri Ram is outside itself, sir. We will just message it. So, yes, yes, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, sir. Okay, now we making vinegar. You know vinegar? Yes, sir. Yes. Are you are you enjoying sometimes Chinese food? What's Are you enjoying sometimes Chinese food like the veg fried rice? Yes, sir. And, yes, sir. And uh, noodles, then veg manchu. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So there they don't use tomatoes. They never add tomatoes before. You know why? Because, because they use their vinegar in order to provide or impart sour taste. Okay? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's discuss how it is being made. Okay. Bacteria uses in the production of vinegar. Okay, because we already gone through here. The fermentation of sugar by bacteria produces acid. So that acid is nothing but acetic acid. Acetic acid. Acetic acid. Acid. Yeah. And four to eight percent aqueous solution. Aqueous solution. Aqueous solution means in water. Yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. 
so 4 to 8 percent aqueous solution of of acetic acid acetic acid is called as vinegar okay sir yes. okay sir um, but I am just getting call from the server. Uh, actually, I didn't post the message today, na? The class. So what, sir? I didn't post the message uh, like uh, during the class, na? Uh, like uh, at eight, uh, at seven thirty. That's why. So okay. Sir, I was thinking like uh, my class is started or not? Okay, sir. Okay. <laughs> okay. So where were we? Okay, sir. Okay, so we were discussing about, yeah, so that if sugar is fermented by bacteria, so it produces acid beta, acid acid. And 4 to 6, uh, 8 percent aqueous solution of acid acid, it is called as vinegar. I hope you understood what is vinegar is. Yes, sir, it is that. Okay, so see, it forms acetic acid, name is also given. They are also used in the processing of tea, coffee, and tobacco. Okay, see, tea and coffee they contain very uh, like uh, dangerous drug. You can say called caffeine. Okay, caffeine. Yes, sir. Okay, so that caffeine is been removed by the bacterial process called fermentation. Okay. And uh, that process is called as decaffeination. Decaffeination. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay, next we have making toothpaste. Okay. Toothpaste. Making? Okay. Toothpaste, the paste yes, that you are using for brushing yes, your tooth. Sir. Yes. So it is like a provided very dense uh, texture, no? Yes, sir. It's yes. like, yeah, it is due to the xanthan gum beta. Okay, so let's discuss here. The shell of the diatom, okay, it is a type of algae beta. Okay, is used in toothpaste to give gritty texture, means the dense texture, you can say. That helps in cleaning the teeth and xanthan gum obtained from the bacterium called xanthomonas campestris is also used in making toothpaste in order to provide the dense texture and for cleaning the tooth properly, it provides, you know, uh, the medium so that our mouth and whatever the acid and fermented substances form get removed out from the mouth and the bad order of the mouth can be reduced. Okay. Okay, sir. Even in Indian food such as idli, dosa and doglas prepared by using the fermentation process. Okay. So at your home must be uh, your mom is like uh, making sometimes dosa or idli, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So they, they used to make their dough at night only and then at the morning they are preparing the idlis, right? Yes, sir. They will. And, you, and you must be observing that when they are preparing the dough, it's like that much. But if when morning, if you are watching that, it becomes that much. It's volume increases, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Due to, yeah, due to the fermentation process here, carbon dioxide gas is also produced 
which makes that uh, increases the volume of that dough. Even that becomes spongy, you can say. Okay, so now in medicinal uses, how microbes are used. Okay, so till here, you have any doubt, Bita? Sir, can you scroll again? Haan, Bita? Sir, can you scroll up again? That one or above one? Sir, this one only, sir. Sir, uh, below, sir. Making toothpaste. One minute. Okay. Now, medicinal uses. Some of the medicinal uses of microorganisms are given below. Okay. First, we have making antibiotics. Okay. Have you heard about the Alexander Fleming? No, what, sir? Alexander Fleming. No, sir. See, Alexander Fleming was the microbiologist. Okay. And he was growing some different types of microbes in its lab. Okay. Like I am taking A, B, and C. And here he was growing the microbe, beta microbes. Okay. So, and he used to observe every day, okay, under the compound microscope. Okay. Like growth and all everything. Okay, sir. But one day he found that in one of the petri dish, petri dish means it is the container where bacteria were growing. Okay the water of that container was get cleared completely. Okay. So he was thinking, why is the water, because bacteria was there, so it was dirt water. So why that water has cleaned, okay. So he saw that petri dish uh, like uh, smooth, like under the compound microscope and he found that there was one special kind of, like fungus was growing there. Okay, here fungus was growing and that fungus used to secrete some chemical and that chemical had capacity to kill this microbes present in that container. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah. So he thought that the chemical secreted by, by that fungus and the name of that fungus was penicillium. Okay, here it is given. Penicillium fungus. That secretes the substance called penicillin okay and that penicillin have capacity to destroy certain different types of bacteria beta so he thought the substance secreted by like penicillin secreted by the uh, penicillin secreted by penicillium have capacity to kill the microbial and bacteria right so if you no know, that bacteria that drug it can be inserted inside the body of human being, the micro present in the body of human can also get killed, na? right? Yes, so sir. this is the way he discovered first antibiotic drug. Okay. And that antibiotic drug helps a lot during the treatment of soldiers, okay, of Second World War, during Second World War. Okay, like soldiers were fighting with the soldier of other countries when they are like uh, you know, uh, getting injured. So their treatment is being performed by penicillin in order to kill the microbes. And many soldiers like they have saved due to that. Okay, this will be a penicillin. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, certain bacteria and fungi are used in production of medicine. Okay, called antibiotic that destroys a certain disease causing microbes. The disease causing microbes can be destroyed by like antibiotic drug. So penicillin obtained from the fungus penicillium and streptomycin, tetracycline, both obtained from the streptomycin bacteria are the example of antibiotic drugs 
we destroy the varieties of bacteria present in the body. So antibiotics are also used to control the microbial which is in animal as well as in plant beta, okay? okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. So I want to just repeat or let or discuss first the vaccine also. Now, vaccine. So when disease causing microbe enters the body of a uh, human being, okay, uh, they produce this antibiotic. So our body used to produce antibodies better. And these antibodies kill the microbe, okay, present in our body. These antibodies fight and destroy the disease causing microbe and remains in the body to fight the future infection by the same microbe, okay. A vaccine is prepared by killing or weakening the disease causing microbe. When the vaccine is introduced in the body of healthy person by swallowing, maybe orally, or maybe by injection, okay, his or her body produces antibodies against those disease causing microbe and get killed better. Okay, they used to kill those disease causing microbe. Thus, vaccine helps. In preventing the disease caused by microbes like polio, cholera, typhoid, smallpox, hepatitis, and there are many more. Okay. Okay. So, any doubt that I hear? No, sir. Okay. Okay, not be done. Okay, sir. Have you repeated once? Repeat the once quickly. Use, you can say, of microbes. Okay. So, making food supplement, okay, microbes such as cholera and spirulina. Okay. They are the types of algae, beta, algae. Huh? They are rich in protein and other nutrients and which are used as a food supplement. Okay, in human body, bacteria such as Lactobacillus, Acidophilus, and uh, Escherichia coli, E. coli, you can say in short, live in human intestine where they help to digest the food and destroy the disease causing microbes. They are good bacteria for us. Okay, everyone. Sir, I think E. coli is a disease. No, no, but it's a kind of bacteria. Yes, sir, but uh, when it means it's, uh, it causes a disease for the urinary tract. Okay, think. it is useful in uh, intestine, beta. Okay, sir. Generally, they are harmless. And uh, yes, they cause this, if they grow in urinary tract, so they cause this urinary tract infection. Yes, so last year yeah. I have. Uh, lower respiratory tract infection and upper respiratory tract infection. Yes, sir.
Okay, any doubt here? No, sir. So, agricultural use we will cover in next class. Okay. What is the STPTRMP for you? Huh? There is some, some other bacteria. Uh, in the in human body, bacteria such as Lactobacillus, Acidophilus, and after that, there is another one. Yes. Uh, I am not getting your voice properly. Can you type? Sir, can you hear me? Yes, but not properly. Your voice is like quite low. Is it everyone? Sir, can you scroll up? Sir, more, I think. Gosh, what is telling to? Amida, more up. Sir, till food supplement, sir. Okay. Okay. So what we'll do now? Can I freeze one? 